We are gonna fix today one of the biggest gripes I have about this place. And it's not the fact that it looks like shit. Yes, that's gonna be fixed. This is an entire series on how to fix my downstairs. However, today we are gonna fix the problem I have with my computer. You see, I have four monitors on my computer. A lot of people would say that's probably overkill, and it is overkill. However, it does have a purpose. I originally just had three, and I stuck with three monitors for a very long time. The only reason I added four was because I got another monitor, and I decided, that must be a reason to have four monitors. I have this monitor right here because I do my homework right here. I do all my schoolwork right in front of me where I am sitting right now. And I love to turn this thing and look at school documents from Edline or whatever to copy down answers and copy down keys so I can use to study. Here's the problem with that though. When I turn this, it covers up the screen next to it. I don't like that very much. In fact, it's extremely annoying. And as I'm not OCD, but I'm OCD to an, enough to the point where that pisses me off. The other problem with it is the only way I can get something on this monitor is I gotta turn, go back to my other keyboard, and then I have to type something up and then drag it onto the screen. I don't like that very much. It looks something like this. I also don't like turning my head all the way to the right, I just think it looks stupid. This is going to fix all my problems. Let me show you. The reason I decided I needed two keyboards was because I didn't like having to turn my head back and forth in order to move things from monitor to monitor. It was okay with three monitors, but four just wasn't, it wasn't feasible anymore. My first step in order to do this was to figure out if it was even possible. I hopped on Google, did a quick search for how to have two keyboards on one computer, and after reading one forum post that said it was possible to do this on Windows 7, I immediately hopped on Amazon and bought the cheapest wireless keyboard with the touchpad that had good reviews. In order for me to turn the monitor the way I want to and position it the way I want to, I have to buy another VGA cable. So I went to buy a VGA cable, a longer one, a much longer one. Once it came in the mail, I opened up the boxes and I plugged it all in and it worked. I think it's worth mentioning, however, once you do plug this in, I highly suggest you guys reboot your computers. If it does not work or some of the keys don't work right, which did happen to me, it might be because the computer hasn't figured it out yet. So just reboot it, it should work. The only other thing I had to do was clean the desk I was putting it on, because otherwise I just wouldn't have any room to use it, and to be honest, I wouldn't use it anyway just because it looks so bad. So to be honest with you, I really didn't exactly want a 25 foot VGA cable. In fact, I don't really think anybody does to be honest, but it was the only thing that Amazon had that was cheap and it fit my purposes. So I said, fuck it, it's better than nothing. The keyboard was also kind of a disappointment because I got this thing expecting these things like clicked right here. They don't, okay? I mean, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but I can still touch it to, you know, like click on something like a Surface. I'm used to it because I actually own a Surface, but I really didn't, you know, like it too much. But I said, like I said, it is better than nothing. <laughs> So there you have it, that's it. It was very simple to do, I'm glad I did it. It wasn't really worth the money I paid for it, but you know, fuck it, it's better than having absolutely nothing, and it's still better than turning my head. I love doing this. Maybe for you it's completely impractical because like most people you might have maybe two or three monitors or just one because that makes life a lot easier. But for me it doesn't work because I do need all these monitors for what I do, for editing, for school, for look, believe it or not, trading stocks. I just can't have one monitor. Was it worth it in the end? Hell yeah. Was it worth making this video? Probably not.